Hi, welcome to Jen's Crafts and Cakes. Today, I'm going to teach you how to decorate a cake um, by using a coloring page. So all those expensive cakes out there, you can make on your own with just a few things. Okay, some items that you'll need is a coloring page. If your kid likes Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Dinosaurs, I went ahead and got a Minnie Mouse. You will also need a Wilton bag and the Wilton tips. The tip right here. And then it goes with the set to go inside the bag. And I'll show you how that works. And this holds the tip. And then some food color. Go with the buttercream frosting in another video that I made. So you're going to get colorings like this. I had I have a box that has eight in there. And I think I paid ten bucks. So if you buy one of these for ten bucks, you get some Wilton bags, the tips. And then the setup for the bag. You only have to buy that once. And after that, you'll always have that to make any cake you want. So it's, I don't know, maybe $15, $20 for everything you need. <clears throat> you will also need wax paper, some tape, and cardboard. Okay, so I cut Mickey, sorry, I cut Minnie Mouse out of a coloring book. You don't have to just use a coloring book. You can go online and find a coloring page that you can print out. So I taped Minnie Mouse down to a piece of cardboard. And I have my wax paper. So I'm going to go over Minnie Mouse and I'm going to tape this down. You want to wax paper, you want to wax paper big enough to go over your cardboard because then you're going to tape it. This is the back side. So like I said, if you buy your setup, after that, all you need to do is get a cake mix and make your buttercream frosting hundreds of times. If you can afford those $50 cakes, you can make one for your family. And just think how special that will be. Okay, I'm gonna finish taping this. Okay, so I had the back of it taped. And this is what it will look like. You got the wax paper over it. And I have my buttercream frosting already made. So I will go ahead and grab that and I will show you how to set up a Wilton bag. Now Wilton bags come in all different sizes. I get whatever I can grab because you don't always have those different sizes. Then you are going to take this piece and put it inside the bag. Now this white piece plus this piece come in a set. So you put it inside the bag. Now I got it upside down. Now, when you get the bags, you might have to cut the tip just a little bit. See, so now it's gone through that piece that looks like this. Goes inside the bag 
and part of it will stick out. Then you will grab, I have a tip that's a number 18. Um, on the sides of them, it will show you a size 18, 16, 14, 12. The bigger the size, like 18 to 21, the bigger the tip. Then you will take the screw part, that's what I call it. You're going to put it over and you're going to screw it down because there are ridges on here. And that's how they screw together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with, let's see. Hmm. white for the polka dots and Minnie Mouse's bow. So right here is my white buttercream frosting. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a Wilton bag. I fold it over. Let's see. And I don't want to overfill it because you can always add more to the bag. I have all these things because when I say, when I said I couldn't frost the cake, but I could decorate, this is how I decorate. Um, I, I have like 45 cake pans and I've made a lot of cakes and I'll show you later on the pictures. Okay, so now I go about half. I'm gonna squeeze or whatever is easier for you and comfortable. And let's see, make sure I get it. So I'm going to go ahead on top of the wax paper and make All her little dots inside are white, according to the one picture I've seen. So you're going to press down and lift up, and it should make like a star. You want to get them as close together as you can. And I always like to work with the center, because once you, if you work on the outside into the center, you'll find... You hit all kinds of stuff, and then it gets messed up. So we have the weights. And what's gonna happen is after you do this whole picture on this wax paper, you wanna go ahead and put it in a freezer overnight so it hardens. You can do this with any picture. And it's kind of special. This is with that buttercream frosting that I made a video of. And if you can't find the video, Wilton.com has the recipe too for buttercream. They actually have a lot of different types of recipes with the buttercream. Okay, so we have the white dots inside of her bow. Now I'm going to go ahead and do like a pink. Okay, so here is some white buttercream frosting. And that package of eight coloring has pink in it. So here's the pink. Okay, let's turn that around for you. The pink. You don't need a lot of this. That's why I say, once you buy the kit, 
you're good for a while, depending on how many cakes you make, but still. Um, usually I use a toothpick, but I ran out. So I'm going to use a knife, put some pink in. Oops. Put some food coloring in there. And mix it until it turns pink. Now remember your buttercream frosting is white. So any color you add to it is always going to be a lighter color because that white still pulls that color. But too, as the frosting sets, it will darken up a little bit. Okay, here is my pink. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into another bag. The bag that had the white, I'm going to leave just in case I need it for another part of the picture. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some pink in. squeeze down and get some of the air out you will get air once in a while so you just squeeze it I put I try to put it back in the bowl there okay. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and do her bow the smaller tips it helps with the smaller areas Okay, so we have Minnie Mouse's bow done. I am going to go ahead and make black for the ears and part of the face. Okay, so again, the eight coloring usually has all the basic colors that you need to where you can even add a little to this and add a little to that and make a different color too. Okay, so I have my black. Now again, black, when it first comes out, will look like it's gray. It will get a little darker just because white takes from the color. Because you really don't need that much. Then you just mix it. And this is what I mean by the white taking it on, but it will darken up a little. So now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a Wilton bag. Okay, so now I'm getting that black, putting it in the bag. We're going to squeeze to get the frosting down in. And we will go ahead and start making the ear. And if you let it set for 24 hours overnight, at least in the freezer, 
should have no problem taking off of the wax paper, like peeling it off, but I'll show you. Okay, so Minnie Mouse's ears are done. Isn't it cool? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and see, we're gonna have to do part of our face. So I'm gonna try and make it a little lighter pink. Okay. Okay, I added a little brown to the pink to make it like a little beige for her face. So I'm going to go ahead and do Minnie Mouse's eyelashes and some of the other spots that meet some of the other spots that need to be black. We're going to have to alternate, I think. This is where the smaller tips would work better. And they even have ones, they even have tips that do straight lines. Okay, so I had saved some white. I need to do Minnie Mouse's eyes, the inside. So, so far, this is how it's looking. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing some of the skin peach for her face. So actually, I am outlining. Actually, I am doing her nose. I'm going to do her smile in black. Then I will finish doing the peach skin. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make some blue coloring to put on the outside like clouds. Okay, so I had the blue frosting in my bag and I'm going to go ahead and color the outside clouds. Okay, so the cloud is done. See? And we have her dress or the top of her shirt left to do. And I'll do that in pink to match her bow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color in her top of her dress or shirt, whatever it might be. Okay. 
There's a little white dot that matches her ribbon. And like I said, you can use any coloring page in, from a coloring book or from online. So when I don't have a shaped cake pan that I want to use or make, this is what I do. This is finished. We'll stick it in a freezer overnight and put it on a cake. So tomorrow, I'll show you how to transfer it from the wax paper into a cake. If you would like to see more recipes, more ideas, please subscribe. Thank you.